Happy to be joined by Steve Martin. He is the studio head here at Firaxis, and he's uh, going to show us all around, see what the environment is like, where civilization and XCOM get made. So take it away, Steve. You got it. Uh, this is about my favorite part of showing people around our studio is uh, one of my favorite things to do. So we're going to wander down here. Okay. All right, this is our main corridor into the production area, out of the lobby, into the inner sanctum where everything happens. Um, you have a press wall. We always like to show that off. That's the first thing important everybody to see. And you can see many, many old magazines that are no longer in production, which really is a testament to how long so you guys cool. have been around. That's right, 17 years. If we wander down this way, you'll see um, kind of the, the initial layout of what we mm -hmm. did to figure out how our space was mm -hmm. going to be organized to, to help support collaboration, community, kind of working together, having some privacy but some community as well. So like we got these big cool doors, right? And this, this group can close this door and they're private. They can open this door and now they're part of the world. We have this set up with two, three, four different types and of is, I assume that they all work on the same project? Are they part of the same Typically, set yeah. of that project? Typically. So like um, this whole group would be working on a project together, mm -hmm. but it could also be broken out into smaller groups. So you'll see throughout the space that um, we have a lot of areas that don't look like they belong together, and that's so we can cut it up. So that group can become its team or they can join the bigger team. Mm -hmm. But all of that was part of how we tried to figure out space planning when we went to a single story building. We used to be in a multi-story building. And, and so now we have that much distance between horrible. team members, yeah. Horrible. And everybody had an individual office too. And it seemed normal. It seemed like that's the way it was supposed to be. And then when we went to the single um, floor, we just saw how much better it was for everybody to see each other, meet each other, cross areas, you know, you, you have multiple projects going on here. And so this way, you get to see and meet the other people and what they're doing. Was Civilization V the first game to come out of this new space? Yeah, it was, it was indeed. Um, so now we have entered the fun zone. Ah, fun I can zone. see you're having fun already, right? <laughs> see that? So the fun zone here, this is where we all gather as an entire studio. And when we gather here, there's areas where we play. Traditional gaming is very important to us. So mm -hmm. you'll get a lot of people, they'll set up board games Yeah, here. I've seen a lot of board games in offices throughout the building. They love the, it, the they'll building. set up here and um, just play traditional board games. It's ping pong, it's one-on-one, -on -one, it's all this stuff is all part of how we feel traditional gaming really does impact mm -hmm. just ideas. And it, it helps spur, keeps you current, keeps you aware of what's out there. We also have, of course, areas to play games. Oh, the good. Real, that's good. The real games. That's good. Right? <laughs> so our video game group and our jets and chairs. People regard you as sort of working in this very rarefied space on the PC, just turn-based strategy. You guys do realize there's value in exposing we know yourself there's to the other rest, games. There's another world out there. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes. And we enjoy all that world. That's the fun About thing. how many people are in this building? Uh, just over, I guess, 100 people. Okay. Yep. Very, um, very accommodating in terms of um, community space. Less personal space and more areas where people can go out, kind of work together, work in groups. We'll see that in a second. But first, we now enter the multi-purpose room. The rec room, as it was called in the Perhaps 70s. Perhaps the rec room, yeah. <laughs> Um, this is our mind and body thing, you know, important for the body as much as the mind. Um, we get together as a group, we'll do yoga in here, we'll lay out the mats, have an instructor in and do our thing, right? We'll I, I have to say, now that I think about it, since I've been here, seeing a lot of the staff, this is one of the more fit group of game developers. Well, right. that hey, that's awesome. I, you know, I take, I take that. You know, we have a basketball court out back, volleyball, we even have a tee box so people can practice their golf, but it's, it's awesome. Um, I think people embrace it, they like it, they have an active lifestyle. We encourage it, we kind of make it a home. We really yeah. do. We, people are here a lot. Yeah. And so we want people to want to be here. And that Feel they, comfortable. They bring their families, they bring their kids. Their kids will play on the um, gaming systems. They'll come in here and use this area, kick a ball around, go out back. So it's very, very important mm -hmm. to us that we integrate that. But um, also the equipment, so you got people who might like deal with some weights, really pump it up. People want to do some cardio and run it around. Um, but this is that area. We also, um, we do um, art stuff too. We'll have um, traditional art classes going oh, wow. on. So we'll have a model come in, sometimes clothed, and they'll, uh, <laughs> they'll do their thing. But traditional art skills. Well, civilization, important. you know, you have yeah. to understand artistic styles. Of, 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 yeah. <laughs> That's right, what they wore and what they didn't. Yeah. 
This is kind of like what I was talking about with how we provide areas so that teams can just come out of their office, join together, congregate, yeah. congregate and do their thing. And as, as we go through the whole space, we, we get more and more space. So that's a smaller area. Then we walk out into here and we have a larger area over here. So this is, uh, you know, it starts to expand. So over there is smaller here, a bigger area where people can kind of display their work. People can see, people can write. People start to get a sense of what others are thinking. There's nothing better than whiteboards because, you know, when you talk to somebody, until you put it up there, you don't know that they heard you, that they see you, that they agree with you. And so we love the whiteboard environment gives that, gives everybody a chance to know that they're all on one page. And it works. And, and it, it's all the asynchronous. So you can kind of put it up and someone else will see it and come and respond to you when they see your work. Asynchronous indeed, <laughs> yes. Yeah, and, uh, and then it gets bigger yet. So you go from that smaller area to this, and then this would be a, a war room. So mm -hmm. the war room environment is where you actually start to display the game. So, so this here, you, you have, the, again, the whiteboards, bigger tables. You get the, uh, the demo area where you can show your game and show digitally what's going on. And then there's doors open and this can expand so your whole team can come out. Um, yeah, so it's, it's kind quite of a bit of thought. It was. We had a space planner come in. We've been here for three and a half years now, and the space plan really helped us meet with groups and say, mm -hmm. how do you work? Mm -hmm. you know, how often do you use a big area? How often do you use a small area? How often do you not want to talk to anybody else? <laughs> <laughs> how often do you want to be alone? Yeah. <laughs> and and, and they, they helped us understand what the significance of each group wa was in terms of space. It was fascinating. I loved it. Well, it really underscores also that in game development, it's not say something that's more linear, like film, where you have a very clear hierarchy. And that's right. It, it's very lateral, and there has to be, you know, a, a lot of communication. That's right. That's right. So, um, so we made it back. This is my space. This is where some really deep thinking goes. On, <laughs> right. So, um, Sid's next to us too. 